Madagascar's natural beauty and ecological diversity make it feel like a country forgotten by time. It is considered one of the last major areas on Earth to be settled by humans. Madagascar is a natural habitat for thousands of plant and animal species found nowhere else. Madagascar's extraordinary biological diversity has earned the country the eighth continent. Explore the top tourist attractions in Madagascar to discover Madagascar's natural, cultural and historical diversity. Today's video will explore the top 10 best places to visit in Madagascar. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Number 10. Ranomafana National Park Situated in the southeastern region of Madagascar, just near the village of Ranomafana, the Ranomafana National Park is among the nation's most popular parks. The park's eastern section is the most breathtaking, with numerous streams spattering through heavily forested hills. The park is home to the jeopardized golden bamboo lemur, an animal whose diet includes bamboo shoots that comprise cyanide doses that would be fatal to other animals. Yet, the very charming golden lemur feeds on the bamboo with no side effects. Number 9. Masoala National Park The Masoala National Park counterbalances nearly 250 miles of rainforest and includes three marine parks in northeast Madagascar. The park exhibits 10 lemur species, including the Ai, the world's largest nocturnal primate. The park is also home to various apes and reptiles, including the bright red-collared tomato frog, the tampolo, Ifaho marine parks and Ambodilea tree are perfect for snorkeling and kayaking experiences. Number 8. Andasibe Mantadia and the Sibe Mantadia National Park is a habitat for 11 lemur species, including the country's largest lemur, the Indri, and encompasses around 100 miles of land in eastern Madagascar. It is situated near Madagascar's capital city of Antananarivo. That is a mouthful. And the Sibe Mantadia is one of the uncomplicated parks to visit. The park is divided into the Mantadia National Park and the Analamasawatra Reserve. Local tourists conduct approximately one to six hour tours of either area. Number seven, Royal Hill of Ambohimanga. The country's most sacred location by the Malagasy people for 500 years, the Royal Hill of Ambohimanga is considered a historical village that was once home to Madagascar royalty. The wall surrounding the town was built in 1847 and was structured with a mortar made of egg whites and limes. The Mahandrihono amalgamation includes the former home of King Andrian Penerma, with beautiful walls constructed of solid rosewood and artifacts of the island's great king, which have weapons, drums and talismans. Number 6. Ifati Ifati is given the name due to two dusty fishing villages on the seaboard of southwest Madagascar. A 60-mile-long coral reef is a biological barrier to rough sea waves, creating perfect coastal waters for snorkeling, diving and fishing. The desert inland area is famous for its spiny forests, where the unsymmetrical baobab trees have flourished for centuries. Number 5. Avenue of the Baobabs A combination of trees lining the dirt road in the middle of Morondava and Belloni Tsiribihina in western Madagascar is called the Avenue of the Baobabs. Its striking landmarks draw tourists from around the world, making it one of the most visited locations in the region. Approximately 800 years old, the baobab trees did not, in the first instance, tower in isolation over the landscape, but stood in a heavily dense tropical forest. Over the years, the woods were clean swept for agriculture and left behind only the excited baobab trees. Number 4. Nosy Bear the tiny island of Nosy Bear is among Madagascar's premier tourist spots, attracting thousands of tourists from across the globe year-round. 
Although Nosy Bass beaches don't look as picture perfect as some other tropical beaches, they win points for transparency. Clear turquoise water and mouth-watering seafood restaurants serving seafood dinner on the sand to explore the natural ambiance. Number 3. Tsingi de Bimaraha Lying in the southern side of Madagascar's largest natural reserve is the Tsingi de Bimaraha. The word Tsingi reflects the pinnacles that dot the park's limestone plateau. Situated near the country's west coast, the park features a broad blanket of mangrove forests. The park is a natural habitat for seven lemur species, including the Deccan Sifaka, a lemur genus notable for its creamy off-white fur and shiny black face. Number 2. Isalo National Park The Isalo National Park is noteworthy for its varied terrain. Located in the central southern region of Madagascar, including areas of grassland, steep canyons and sandstone formations, all flecked by occasional pools and lined by palm trees. In many of the country's national parks, tourists' guides are required. Tours can be arranged on a neat base to last as short as several hours or as long as several days. Number 1. Ile Sainte Marie The Ile Sainte Marie lies off the east coast of Madagascar. The island's array of protected bays and inlets drew pirates to Ile Sainte Marie during the 17th and 18th centuries, and the wrecks of several pirate ships can still be witnessed from the shallow waters of the Baie des Fourbans. Currently, the island is one of the top tourist attractions in Madagascar. The still, crystal-clear water of the island's base makes ideal spots for snorkeling. Migrating humpback whales visit the island waters during summer and early fall. Thank you for watching this video. Please pardon the occasional misinterpretation, as this turned out to be quite the challenge for me. Regardless, give a like to this video and let us know which place you found the most interesting in the comments. If you're not subscribed yet, which I can't imagine, press the subscription button and stay tuned for our next video.